I am a significantly huge supporter of mentoring. I think that each of us, whether we realize it or not, at some point in our lives, in our careers, and in our life journey, has been mentored by someone. The definition of the word, the etymology of the word, has to do with being a trusted advisor. And we all need that person. I've had mentors in my life. The first mentor role model was my mom. She taught me the importance of standing strong and standing tall despite whatever circumstances you may find. I did not come from a privileged background. I grew up in the inner city of Milwaukee. I was baptized and confirmed in the Cross Lutheran Church in Milwaukee. Our pastor, Reverend Joseph L. Wenger, was just such a phenomenal role model for servant leadership. He was deeply influenced by Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. He marched with him. And so from 10 years and 11 years old on, I saw that kind of a role model in our community. We did the hard work. We did the loving on the edges. It's easy to love the rich, the beautiful, the well-educated. It takes far more of a soul purpose to love those individuals who may never say thank you, whose values and upbringing are far different from our own. And I was a girl who was growing up in that environment. But what I learned about service is the more I gave, the more I received. The choir director at my church, I sang in choir and had lots of great experiences. She was a role model for how we lead, how to be a servant leader. I started Girl Scouting in my church in Milwaukee at 11. I had a troop leader who said to me, Connie, you matter, and don't you let anyone tell you that you don't. I currently serve as president of Girl Scouts of the USA. I spend a lot of time with our girls because they are the reason that we do what we do, telling our girls that they matter, that their zip code, where they live, doesn't dictate what they should expect from life, helping them understand that net worth is not the same as self-worth. I had the privilege and honor to visit the White House with several of our Girl Scouts and Brownies. They were able to meet the First Lady and the President. They were incredibly excited. I think what's critically important for our girls is that they're able to see women in leadership positions. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. I am the Executive Vice President in charge of Corporate Social Responsibility for Northern Trust. My role gives me the opportunity and the privilege to be responsible for developing Northern's overarching strategy for environmental, social, and governance issues. I say that I have career bliss at this point because I'm able to do work that has bottom line impact. Because I have such a strong commitment to mentoring and understand the implications and the positive outcomes that it can have, I mentor men, women, uh, people who are new to the bank, people from all ethnicities, all life choices, because I believe that each of them not only has something that I can work with them on, but I learn from them. And so one of my favorite sayings is the good deeds I do for others is the rent I pay for occupying space on the earth. And every month I want to renew my lease.